Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Reach out to me directly with your questions. I am tmaso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a lovely mid-2000s offering from Gerald Genta. This is the Arena by Retro, 45 millimeters in diameter and stainless steel. It is surprisingly thin at 12.2 millimeters. Lug to lug, it is 52 millimeters, and it has a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. You can see that the strap is held on using screws and bars, so quite a secure attachment. Always a little bit more expensive than spring bars, but also more secure. On my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, Though this watch is a 45, it wears easily. A lot of that's down to the shape of the lugs, which you can see are kind of canted and angled downward. But you can also see that the lugs just don't project beyond the edge of my wrist. And the watch is very thin at 12.2 millimeters thick. That's about identical with a Rolex Daytona. So yeah, it will fit underneath the cuff. And as you can see from over the top, the watch fits. It's out to the edge, but it's not over. I could recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 15 centimeters circumference. Taking a look at the strap, it's a substantial piece. It is curved and arced to match the slope of the lugs and the curve of the case, so it's a fully integrated look. It is quite thick adjacent to the lugs, but it thins out quickly and becomes quite pliant. We have a set of scored marks in there on both sides, allowing you to cut the strap to length, and we will help you with that. You can see the clasp is double folding. It has both satin and polish, and then it has a trigger release system, so you press the triggers, it pops open. There are also two pairs of divots inside one half of the clasp so you can use the spring bar to change the anchoring point to fine-tune the fit short of more cutting with the strap. Now rolling back to the branding you may wonder what do you do when you need parts or service for a brand that hasn't been around in decades? Well the good news is the brand is back but it never really went away. So during the period when Gerald Genta watches were not being made, the place we once knew as manufacturer Gerald Genta and Daniel Roth was Bulgari, and it still is Bulgari today. Throughout, Bulgari provided parts and service for these watches, and today, if you need a branded wear item, like a strap for Gerald Genta, you get it from Bulgari. That is your service authority for these. There has never been a dearth of parts, support, or knowledge to take care of these watches. The case is relatively flat, but Baroque, as you can see, all of high polish. We have this sort of fluting down the center on each side. We also have crown guard structures. The watch it watch's crown is actually unbranded, if you see, domed, polished, with double row knurling, and though the watch is only 30 meters water resistant, it is a screw down crown for extra security. There's this lovely frosted texture polymer cap, I believe it's either very hard rubber or soft plastic, that sits on top of the case and affects a two-tone. You can also see the dial is dramatically layered with a Reho outboard that features your seconds, fractions of seconds, and we have a combination of green and orange print there. Then we drop down to the scales for the date as well as the minute. You can see that they have their own metallic finish that is roughly sunburst. We also have a base to the dial, which is quite literally sunburst, and you can see that the hands feature a punched out skeletonization, high polished, and little orange tips. We have a sort of spring green counterweighted lancet style second sand, a polished frame for the jump hour, and then the jump hour itself is orange on black. So we'll screw the crown out. I say this watch is 30 meters because you can see on the back it says water resistant, but it doesn't give a rating. And by industry convention, a note of water resistance without a number means 30. There are arena sport models that are very similar that are 100, but this is the arena by retro. This is not one of these sports. So you can see here, I have a quick set for the retrograding date, and then I also have a, let me demonstrate this here, I have a stop seconds function, and I can adjust the minute, and I can jump the hour, and I can set the watch, if I wish, to a precise reference time to the second. Now, if I want to set the hour, let's say I want to jump forward three hours, but I don't want to lose my minute, I use this little pusher adjuster on the side which jumps it forward, but always preserves the exact minute displayed. So we have a quick set hacking seconds, we have two retrogrades, we have a jump hour, and then underneath, we have what Gerald Genta calls the GG7723. It is a Gerard Perigo caliber 3300, unidirectional winding, automatic, 45 to 46 hour power reserve in this application, four hertz beat rate, handsomely finished, five position adjusted, 
and of course it is a thin fine high horology tractor movement that's been used by many through the years up to and including Vacheron Constantin and the Holy Trinity. So it is a worthy heart to propel Gerald Genta's manufacture jump hour by retrograde movement. There is a lot to love here. High horology inside and out from a cool brand that's actually on the comeback trail these days. And these mid to late 2000 Gerald Genta watches are quite rare, so exclusivity is assured. Even the ergonomics exceed expectations for a 45 millimeter watch. So reach out to T. Masso at the watchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.